All right, welcome everyone. So we're looking at correlate, measuring correlation and we're looking at hypothesis testing on, on correlation. So in this question, we're told that the correlation coefficient between our studying driving and age is 0.516 for 24 students. So we're given the sample correlation value, which is 0.516, and we're given the number of students. We're asked to state our hypothesis clearly and using a 5% level of significance, test whether the product moment correlation coefficient, which I'll now refer to as PMCC, is greater than zero for all students. So even if they don't tell you, you want to know that by way, when you're, whenever you're doing a hypothesis testing, you want to state your hypothesis. Um, so here, H naught will be rho is equal to zero. And so that will be the default hypothesis in all of these questions, that there's no relationship between X and Y and it or there's no linear relationship rather between x and y and then h1 will be and h1 represents the alternative hypothesis that rho is positive and that's what the answer is test whether the product moment correlation coefficient is greater than zero and in this case the claim will generally be in the alternative hypothesis all right uh, so once we have done this um our standard approach will be to go to the table. So this is not a calculator question um, in terms when you're, when you're doing hypothesis testing, you have to use it, the, the set of calculated values um, by way of your table that the exam board would have provided. All right, so we're going to go to the critical values for correlation coefficient. So that, that's a possible name for your table. And we're going to look um, for under the product moment correlation um, table. And we're going to uh, scroll down to where n is equal to 24. So n is 24. Then we're going to look at the level of significance. The level of significance is 5%. So we either look for 5% or 0 0.05. 0 0.05. Um, and then we're going to look at the corresponding value. So 0 0.05 and n is 24. We'll find the, the critical value. And that will be um, here, 0.3438. So 0 0.3438. So we want to do a sketch and I will just do a, uh, I'll take some license and do a normal distribution sketch. Just give us a anchor what we're doing to something that we're familiar with. Uh, so row is zero and then we have our critical value, um, 0.3438, that corresponds to 5%. And then we're looking for this 0.516. So 0.516 is clearly going to be, uh, so that's 0.516. So that is clearly going to be in the, crit in the crit critical region or the rejection region. All right. Um, so what that means is that we're going to reject H naught in favor of H1. So reject H naught. All right. Um, so how would we conclude this? We would say there is um, insufficient evidence at the 5% level to support the claim that the, uh, that the um, correlation coefficient is equal to zero all right so that's one way of saying it or there is sufficient evidence at the five percent level to support the claim that the product moment correlation coefficient is greater than zero and that concludes this presentation